Hi everyone, back on my channel and today we are talking about breastfeeding because I feel like I've learned a lot about it and there were things that I just didn't know. And um, you know, it's been kind of a, an interesting experience um, breastfeeding for the very first time and you know, having a baby for the very first time. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about all the things I learned about breastfeeding, my tips, um, and uh, you know, just some of the stuff I've been using. All right, so I am four months into breastfeeding this little baby. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't sure I was gonna even make it to four months. I've been telling myself that I'm gonna get to six months and then stop there, but you know, we'll see. I have friends who said the same exact thing and then they ended up breastfeeding for like a year, year and a half. I'm not gonna go that far, but you know, I might go past the six month point. Um, anyway, so let me just tell you a little bit about my experience in the beginning with breastfeeding. Um, you know, if you already have kids and you have gone through all this, then you'll probably remember the whole experience, right? Yes. <laughs> um, but when I first had him, I had no idea that in the very, very beginning, the first couple of days when the baby is born, you don't actually produce um, breast milk. You produce something called colostrum. And, um, you know, I had a C-section, so they put him on me really quickly in, actually, probably like an hour not even an hour after I had him, um, I was already holding him. And I could barely even feel my legs, but I was already holding him. And they were doing that so that, you know, we could bond and have our skin to skin contact and that could help the colostrum come in. Colostrum was really interesting to me because it's actually kind of like a clear liquid um, and he wasn't eating that much. Um, and, uh, you know, a tip that somebody gave me was um, to just be confident because the baby can sense if you're confident or not. So I just went in there and like the minute I had the baby, I was just like, bloop, just put them on. Not knowing if I was doing anything right, I just decided to do it because I was like, I'm just gonna act like, I'm gonna kind of like fake it till I make it. And so I was just kind of putting him on and he would kind of go at it. But one of the first mistakes that I made Right, are you calling me out already? I did not know that you should put the baby's entire mouth around your entire areola. You would kind of think that you just put the baby on the nip of your nipple, but that's not true. There are actually like 15 to 20, apparently there are like 15 to 20 different holes where the milk comes out of your areola, which includes your nipple and like the surrounding area. And so um, you have to actually latch your baby onto the entire nipple area, which was not what I was doing. I was just kind of putting them on and it was it was destroying my nipples. It's, it's really, really painful if the baby doesn't latch on completely. So you have to latch him on and make sure that he has like a, like a big mouth. So you kind of like, just kind of like get their jaw. You kind of just get their jaw. You just get their jaw a little bit, not rough or anything. You just like make sure you latch them on with their whole entire mouth. And then what you can do is kind of stick your finger into the mouth um, and pull the bottom lip out. And what that does is it makes kind of like, it creates like a little bit of a barrier. So his lip um, would kind of do this thing where it comes down like this <laughs> and then it would be like a barrier between him and my actual skin and so it wouldn't rub as much and it wasn't as, it wouldn't like chafe it as much so once i figured out how to do that it was kind of smooth sailing so everybody was recommending nipple cream um so i got this one it's it's called mother love nipple cream and it is um completely organic and, and if you look at the ingredients it's just extra virgin olive oil, beeswax, shea butter, marshmallow root and calendula flour. So it's super super simple and you know they were giving me all these other different creams at the hospital and I just didn't really like the ingredients that were in them. This is just so simple and I didn't even use that much really. I ended up just using this for maybe like a week or two and then I didn't need any more. So every time I would finish feeding him I would just put a little bit on and let it soak in. Um, I will warn nipple cream stains all of your shirts. So all of my t-shirts that I wore this with, and I obviously was braless, they all have like boob marks now basically. <laughs> like you can see where it was that I had nipple cream. So they are worthless shirts now, right? You know, in the beginning, they don't latch very well. So you're constantly like kind of, you almost feel like you're in a fight with them. Like, like they want to eat, but they don't know how to like latch on. So you're kind of going through like this game and everything. And um, you know, you have to learn some of the techniques. So one of the things that was super helpful, and I, I didn't actually realize this until a couple of weeks in, was um, this is called my breast friend. So it's like best friend, but breast friend, um, B-R-E-S-T. First off, it's made of like a memory foam or something. So it's really firm, but soft. Um, it has a little pocket. And what you realize is it's, it's like, torture if you forget to bring your phone with you when you're about to feed the baby. So it's nice that you can like 
throw your phone into this before you even start the whole process and you have the ability to reach it because I'm telling you when you're like sitting there and the phone is just like just right there, it's torture. It really is because you're like, no, I could be reading my emails or looking on Instagram or something, you know? And the other thing I love is it has this padding in the back and it makes you sit up a little bit straighter because you end up getting really bad posture when you're breastfeeding because you're just doing this number with the baby and, and it's just, you know, all of it doesn't work out very well and then it clips onto you so it's not going anywhere. So this was really, really helpful in, in latching the baby because you really just need to have them in the right spot and then once they start to get it, it's like smooth sailing unless your milk doesn't come in. So let's talk about that. My pediatrician recommended that I don't start um, pumping until a month or two into breastfeeding. But because I don't listen, because I knew I was gonna go, gonna go back to work, um, <clears throat> I decided to pump right away. And I figured out exactly why she didn't want me to do that. So I started pumping a week into breastfeeding, and what that did is it put my milk into overdrive. So if you do wanna be able to save some of your milk and freeze it, then you can start pumping right away. Um, if you don't, then be aware that you're gonna produce a ton of milk um, if you start pumping. Some of my tips to um, produce a lot more milk besides pumping right away um, is to, you know, a lot of people said that they recommend this mother's milk tea. Um, other people, a friend of mine made me these lactation cookies and they have, they have ingredients like brewer's yeast and barley, but I'll tell you what my best tip is. Milk, your breast milk, is water, it's mostly water besides some of the fat that you get in there and everything. But the thing that always ended up helping my, my milk supply was drinking water. I just needed to drink way more water. And if you have a hard time drinking water, one of the things I do, and I've been using this as an excuse the entire time um, I've been breastfeeding, ta-da! I drink juices or, you know, like all these different, these, this is like a fresh squeezed juice from um, the Mexican restaurant I just had lunch at, it keeps it going, I still do it right now. So liquids. All right, so one of the things that I learned when you produce a ton of milk, I don't think I fully understood this when I didn't have a baby, but I would hear that you'd get like plugged milk ducts and it'd be like something called mastitis and stuff like that. So one day I actually decided to go out um, in the evening and I didn't have my, my pump with me because I thought, you know, I can go probably a couple of hours without pumping. Um, I got back home and I had this huge lump in my boob and I got really worried about it at first. I thought I was like, you know, what is this lump? Because it's hard. It feels really, really weird and it's kind of uncomfortable and it feels sore and you start to feel like it feels warm and stuff. So I had this huge lump and I didn't know what to do so I started Googling it and texting some of my girlfriends and they told me what it was. Um, what I found worked was they're by Earth Mama Angel Baby. Well, they make these to go right around your nipples. <laughs> So you can just like warm these up in the in the microwave for just a couple of seconds, pop them into your bra, and they feel really, really nice. And so what that does is it warms up the whole area because what ends up happening is it's like really thick like milk fat that's clogging the ducts. So it doesn't have like the milk doesn't have a way to get out. And so um, it's just kind of clogged there. The best thing I could do was I made him eat. So I just like would put him on my boob and let him eat as long as he absolutely wanted. It's maybe a strange thing, but I would actually like put myself over him because they say that like, if you just let your boobs hang, it helps the milk come out even more, which makes sense, you know, gravity and everything. It's a very strange thing, but it helped. I would always get um, the duct out right away. So these, some heat, it can be any kind of heat, warm up a towel, something like that, put the heat on it, have the baby eat or pump it, and it'll help a lot, I promise. Um, some people recommended lecithin, didn't think it worked, so lecithin, get rid of that. Um, when it comes to pumping, what I did get is this, it's called Nature Bond, and it's just a silicone pump, and I, I, I like keeping it with me, but um, if you've got a pump on one side or you've got only a baby on one side, then you can use this, you just, you know, pop it onto your boob and then you squeeze it and then it creates like this suction onto your boob and it stays in place all by itself. And that little suction surprisingly starts to draw the milk out. So while you're feeding or you're pumping with one boob, then your milk can start to collect on this side. And so I find that to be really, really helpful. I put this on one boob, pump on the other. Um, and then you can also just use it like if you're out and something happens, like you get stuck somewhere, if you have it with you, you can actually just like use it to kind of relieve your boobs a little bit so that they're not just 
huge porn star rock hard boobs. Um, just, you know, you can get a little bit of relief. You might have to toss the milk, but I do, I like this. This is just really easy to tote around. I tried to use a manual hand pump, it doesn't work. Another tip I have is if you are pumping, that means that you're using bottles. I like these Komotomo bottles. Um, they are, you know, my pediatrician recommended them. They're shaped kind of like a boob, so when the baby, especially if you look at the nipple, um, you know, the baby doesn't get confused early in um, with between like your boob and the nipple. The only tip I have is, and this is just, I mean, it seems obvious now, but it wasn't obvious to me. There are slow flow nipples and there are fast flow nipples. I ended up having the fast flow ones and I didn't even realize it in the beginning. So um, the fast flow ones, uh, are what can really confuse the babies because then they start to get the milk really fast and um, actually it would make him like kind of choke a little bit while he was eating. So I got the slow flow nipples and um, it really was helpful because it helps kind of keep it where they have to like still work to get the milk and everything so it gives them a little bit of like a mouth exercise and stuff like that and I don't know, these have just been really, really helpful. Slow flow nipples though, whichever bottles you end up getting, that's one of the big, that's like the big key um, when you introduce the bottle to them. So one of the things I'm doing is I've introduced a little bit of formula now. This is called Halle, it, it's, it's a German um, organic formula um, and I actually really, really like it because um, I tried a couple of other brands that were here um, from the US and every time I tasted them, they didn't taste like breast milk. They had a metallic taste to me and everything and I had tasted my milk. I mean, if, if I'm gonna feed it to the baby, I'm, I'm gonna taste it too. I noticed that breast milk tastes kind of like um, like skim milk with a ton of sugar poured into it. So it's just like really sweet, light milk. Um, this Halle has a very similar taste to it. Um, it's the only brand that I found that tastes kind of like breast milk. It's not the same exact thing, but it's very, very similar. Um, I had found um, online that, you know, the, the instructions are in a different language. So what I found is for 3.4 ounces, you put three scoops. Um, for 4.4 ounces, you put four scoops and so on. So um, this has been really helpful. I get it from organicstart.com and they send it really, really quickly. Like I get it in two days probably. Um, and this has been really, really helpful, Holly. And then the last thing that I learned is you can't microwave breast milk. I didn't know that. So um, when you take the milk out of the refrigerator or you want to warm up your formula, you either have to boil it in the bottle or you get a milk warmer and then they use kind of like steam and stuff. I've been using the Munchkin milk warmer. It's not great. I don't love it, um, but it's not terrible either. And from what I've read of other reviews and stuff of milk warmers, they're all not that great. So um, if you guys have a suggestion for a milk warmer that you think I absolutely should get, I'm gonna be giving him milk for you know a good while. So I wouldn't mind getting a new one. Um, but if not, then yeah, I use the Munchkin one. It's not bad, it does what it needs to. And um, he gets his milk. And that's everything I know about breastfeeding so far. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Leave me any tips that you have. I'm still learning every day. And uh, we will talk to you soon. He's completely passed out. <laughs>